We're trying to achieve a, a very logical outcome, which is to reverse the pumping of drainage water that comes out of Felix Snow and Ipswich and surrounding farmland, currently pumped into the North Sea, which seems illogical when we're desperate for that fresh water in our reservoirs. So we're putting a pump house on the sea wall and a pipeline to service those, those reservoirs. We uh, got a group of farmers together who were interested in that and formed uh, a company uh, to fund the provision of a pump house and a, a pipeline that goes back inland, servicing the six farms and a total of 14 different reservoirs. MAR is short for Managed Act for Recharge, which is simply putting water back in the ground. If we are in a position nationally that our groundwater is getting depleted, logically, there must be quite a lot of space downstairs. As we encourage farmers to move to taking high flow water in the winter, they again logically need somewhere to store it until they irrigate in the summer. Traditionally, people build above ground reservoirs to do that. They're costly, um, unsightly, have archaeological and planning restrictions. And so we thought, why not explore uh, a means of just putting the water back in the ground where there's plenty of space. And so we've run a trial. Uh, the Environment Agent worked very closely with us. Quite rightly, they are concerned about the risk of pollution of a, a national aquifer. Uh, we test for 578 compounds to ensure that we don't do that. And we've run a, a week test on it and we're about to start a three month trial. The funding was uh, achieved through a mix of um, grant funding through European Interreg Fund called Fresh Four Seas and uh, they supply 50% of the capital and then the farms involved match fund and the further 50% and then the farmers um, pay for the running costs proportional to the volume of the water that they use. The results are that we've uh, managed to achieve uh, to date over 800,000 cubic water pumped to the reservoirs and I think quite spectacularly the the local contractors managed to deliver that through a COVID year on time and on budget and uh, I know the farmers are all very, very grateful. The biggest challenge of farming in East Suffolk is these very sandy soils that we farm uh, require a lot of water. They're great from the point of view that we can get on them and plant early in the season and harvest right the way through the year, but they need a lot of water in order to sustain the crops and so having access to that water is the biggest challenge. The attraction of this was uh, affordable but sustainable water, so um, our current sources of water are all being challenged from an environmental point of view, and this, this source of water was damaging the environment where it's being pumped out to sea. Um, if we could turn this around and get it back, back up the peninsula to the growers, then th that was very attractive. All the landowners are of a similar mindset. They understand that we've got to all get our share of this water. Um, and the way it's being managed and the, the water it's delivering to us is being extremely helpful. I mean, it, it's a project for the future as much as anything, but even now, last year, when John could start pumping water into us as our reservoirs went down, it just gives you the confidence that you can get through the season, that you can give the crops everything they need. Um, so yeah, it, it already it's been extremely beneficial. Oh, 100%, no hesitation. Um, we, need, we need access to this water for the future. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. Well, this, this part of the world has got some huge challenges around water. Um, by the middle of the century, we've got to find almost twice as much water as we have access to now to service industry, domestic use, the environment and agriculture. So projects like this are gonna be vital.